Hey, it's David Elder, and today on the Houston edition of Texas Eats, we're traveling all across the Lone Star State, going to great restaurants you won't want to miss. Get ready for a donut shop serving up a 10-pound cinnamon roll. <laughs> this is incredible. Plus, we see what's on the menu at an iconic pizza joint. The Cowbell Pizza has so much flavor going on. It's like a smokehouse stacked on top of a pizza. And we find out how a Texas catering company makes a 100-pound, 8-foot pizza. Uh, how much cheese do you use? I use 30 pounds of cheese, <laughs> uh, 40 pounds of dough, about 10 pounds of sauce. All that and more right now on Texas Eats. First up on today's foodie adventures at a noodle shop serving up generations old recipes for bao buns, dumplings, and hand pulled noodles. Let's go inside Noodle Master. Joining me now is Ta Yang. He is the general manager out here at the restaurant. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for coming in. Of Thank course, you. man. And right in front of us, I mean, you have noodles, you have different kinds of dumplings, you have bao buns, steam fried goodness, plus some wok fried food as well. Now, how did all of this get started? Where are these recipes from? Uh, these recipes uh, originated from northern China. This style of making noodles, especially the hand pulled noodles, it goes back thousands of years in Chinese history. It's a tradition that very few people nowadays know how to do. So when we started this restaurant with the recipes, we wanted to keep this tradition alive. This one though, right in front of us, you said is your top selling noodle bowl. What's the name of this one and what's in it? This is all called our house spicy beef noodle soup. We have a beef broth that is made on a daily basis. Uh, along with uh, the braised beef. It's beef that is cooked all the way through. But this looks great. So this one's a little spicy. I mean, you can see the yeah. little like oil kind of floating to the top. Yeah, this is our <laughs> homemade chili oil. Beef noodle bowl, that's the bite. Yeah. Oh, give me some elbow. Boom! Now, the noodle bowls, you can get them. There's a Chinese preparation on noodle bowls. You also have Japanese preparation on right. noodle bowls. Absolutely. And that's like what's going on over here. Yes. It's like a ramen style, right? Yes, it's exactly what it is. It's taken from uh, Japanese style, but the noodle, they're all hand pulled. That is incredible. You got a little bit of pork belly on the side here. Right. I'm a pork belly fiend. I'm going for right. the pork belly. Yeah. Cheers to you. Cheers. All right, Japanese style noodle bowl. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> what up? <laughs> Mm. All of the hand pulled noodles are fantastic, whether it's the Chinese style or the Japanese style. They have the different kinds of protein that are in each soup as well. You have that spicy beef. You also have the traditional Japanese style ramen dish with some of that pork belly in there. It is all delicious. You can't go wrong with any of these noodles. Talk to me about your soup dumplings. What makes them special? So the soup dumpling, what makes them special is that they're wrapped with the soup inside of them. To find this kind of style of soup dumpling, it's not very readily available in the South. Now you don't just use your chopsticks on these, right? There's actually no. a proper way to eat the soup right. dumpling. How exactly. do you do that? So what you do is you take the soup dumpling, you put it inside the ladle. Pop it? Yeah, you oh, have to look. pop it so the juice would I got it. Look at that. Yeah. You drink the juice. Okay. Wow, that is like super concentrated flavor. That yeah. is so good. Yeah. After you drink the juice, you add a little bit of the vinegar, a pinch of uh, ginger. And now you just eat the whole thing. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. All right, the proper way to eat it. Oh, wow. You also have some regular dumplings, right? Right. And bao buns, right? Bao buns, yep. Talk to me about these ones, because you have some different versions here. Let's start with this one. This is our pan-fried dumpling. On the bottom, it's, it's really crispy, because it's designed that way. But if you flip it over, it's still nice and soft, but because we want that contrast. So, okay, so now we get this. You just dunk it yeah. in this. this what is, is this, like this a chili oil? A, this is our sweeter chili oil, dumpling oil. The name tells you what to do. It says dump it, right? You just gotta dump, dump it right in there. there. All right, cheers. Cheers. Wow. Mm. Wow. It's this fresh dumpling. It would taste different from what you would get 
at your frozen store or dumpling. If you never had fresh dumplings, then the textures might be a little bit different for you. It's that dough, it's so fresh, but then it just melts. Noodle Master is doing such a great job at showing you what traditional Chinese noodles are supposed to be. All this hand pulling, stuff that's been handed down through generations and generations from centuries ago. You get to have a little piece of history out here. It's my favorite kind of history. It's the kind you can eat. You have to save room for dessert because you have a very special one right here. It's yes. full of chocolate, right? Yes. So talk to me about this one. So this one is made almost exactly like the Bao's, but instead of being filled with stuffings, it's been filled with chocolate. I'm going to go in with this one. Y'all, Noodle Master out here in Pasadena, Texas. Cheers to you. Cheers. Come check them out. They have so many different items on the menu, something for everyone. You got the noodles, you got the entrees, you have the different kinds of ways you can prepare the Bao's and the dumplings. This one's got chocolate in it. That's the vibe. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for having us, no, man. No, thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, we're cruising to San Antonio to find out how a Texas catering company makes a 100-pound, 8-foot pizza. Now we're here with a gentleman responsible for making one of the largest pizzas I've ever seen in my entire life, Kurt Ofinger, and you are the owner and team leader out here with Dirt Road Cookers. Thank you so much for being yes, here. Yes, sir. Right behind us, you see everybody's going to town with one of these big pizzas. We even have a slice right here. This is like a little baby slice of what's going on. Talk to me about the idea of making a giant pizza. How did this all get started? It got started when my grandpa passed away. We had to get stuff off our mind, so my dad and I got together and we built a pit to cook pizzas on. And then from that pit though, it didn't start this big, right? No, no, it started <laughs> It started about the size of a picnic table. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> to, to feed only 30 people, which okay. was not enough food yet. Yeah, no, no, no. So the pizza behind us, this is like a Guinness world record worthy pizza. Yes, sir. This is a large, large pizza. And there's a lot of stuff that goes into making this. Talk to me about that process. What goes into getting that prepped up? So yesterday we got the dough ready, the wood ready, the pit ready, all the toppings together in the ice chest ready to go. And we left early this morning, come up here to, to start making pizza. Is this dough recipe something that you just kind of picked up? Is this something you learned over time? So Paul Revere's, they used to live in, they used to be here in San Antonio. They shut down recently, but they got uh, ingredients from Chicago. And that's where I got my ingredients from. So this is all like Chicago sourced ingredients. Yes. I love that so much. So we have a uh, barbecue sauce, which is a barbecue pizza. We have to have barbecue sauce on it. Garlic to freshen up the flavor a little bit on the tomato sauce. And then we have pizza sauce on top of that. Come on. And that's a big old can of pizza sauce right there too. And then you're adding the ingredients on there. This one, pretty straightforward though on the ingredients, right? Yes. It's just cheese, uh, pepperoni, and a little bit of sausage. And you guys have done some wild stuff, different designs as well. And it's not just using traditional pizza toppings, right? You guys are kind of played around with like colorful cheese. We use colorful cheese. We use different toppings that aren't known to your normal pizzerias around here. So we'll put brisket on there. We'll spice it up a little bit. We put menudo on it once, parisa. <laughs> We'll put whatever the customer wants or whatever we feel like putting on there. But one thing I love is about the, putting a logo on it is the people around remember it so much more and they'll talk about the event so much more because that logo was involved. That's so cool. And I love the actual setup here. I mean, you built this whole thing. Your background's actually engineering. Yes. And then you, you put together this idea through like kind of trial and error, right? Kind of building different smokers, you said with your family, kind of building them out. But when you actually got it going, when you had it working, when you made this pizza the first time, what was that experience like? It was amazing. Uh, it was just more or less refreshing that I got through this whole entire project and I was successful at the end. Now, this was an astounding number to me. When you were building this out, how much cheese do you use? I use 30 pounds of cheese, <laughs> uh, 40 pounds of dough, about 10 pounds of sauce, and each of my sections, I try and get about 10 pounds of meat on it, or 10 pounds of toppings on it. Wow. And you made our logo for us today, the Texas Eats logo. Yes. Which, good on you, man. You actually went through, you custom made that. We got to see the process. But I love how this is all built out. And look at the color on the pizza itself. You got really nice colors on the cheese. It cooked really well. And you can't do this by yourself. So who's out here with you making sure all this is possible? So my wife is back here. Then my brother-in-law, who's actually been on Cosmopolitan because of me, <laughs> not me, is in the sunglasses. Okay. <laughs> All right, Kurt, so for people to get more information about how they can book you for events, where do they go? They can follow us on Facebook or Instagram or go to our website at 8footpizza.com. Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming out here. You guys enjoying the pizza? Yeah! Come on. All right, grab your slice. Cheers to Cheers. you. Delicious pizza.
Come me up later on Texas Eats. Get ready for a donut shop serving up a 10-pound cinnamon roll. <laughs> this is incredible. And next on the show, plus, we see what's on the menu at an iconic pizza joint. The Cowbell Pizza has so much flavor going on. It's like a smokehouse stacked on top of a pizza. So don't go anywhere. The Houston edition of Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to the Houston edition of Texas Eats. Now we're here in the Upper Kirby area to go inside of a pizza place that's been around since 1976, serving up delicious pies. Let's go inside Star Pizza. Joining us now is Mike Pittman. He is the operations manager out here at the restaurant. Thank you so much for having us. Absolutely. Everything out here looks fantastic, but how did Star Pizza get started? So we started in 1976. Hank, who's the owner, came from Chicago with a bunch of friends and found that there was no good pizza here in Houston, in their opinion. So they decided to start up their own place, and here we are. So I mean, there's so much good pizza in Chicago and New York. I want to start with this pizza right here in front of us because it's something special. You got a little Texas twist to it, right? Definitely. It's our cowbell spice. Special. We started smoking our own brisket here on site. We do it once a week. When it runs out, it runs out like most good barbecue places. It's cowbell uh, sauce. We make our own barbecue sauce. Barbecue smoked brisket. We top it with what we call the fixins, which is jalapenos and red onions. Oh, a little bit of cheddar cheese. Right, I was gonna say a little cheddar kind of adds a little more salty punch to it, yeah. right? I love the name too. Here we go, this is the cowbell. Cheers to you, sir. Yes, sir. Look at this, I love how we both snapped it. <laughs> you go for that New York fold, that's the bite. Oh wow. Ooh. The cowbell pizza has so much flavor going on. It's like a smokehouse stacked on top of a pizza, right? You have the jalapenos on there, the red onion. You also have some of that brisket that they're smoking right here in house, all sliced up and put on there. It is so good. Cheddar cheese, you have some of their house cheese on there as well. That crust is phenomenal. I mean, you're gonna eat this whole thing and not even know what happened. Now you also have salads made in house, and then you right here, you have a lasagna. I mean, yeah. this is a multiple step process. It takes a couple days, right? It sure does. It's made from scratch, homemade, layered. We make our own sauce, special blend of spices and everything inside. I gotta go in. You got a fork over there too. Oh yeah. Cheers to the lasagna. Oh wow. Oh wow. Mmm. Whoa. The lasagna is layered, stacked, made right here in house. My goodness, it's so tender, it's cheesy, it's gooey. You have the ricotta, the mozzarella that's in there. You have some of the meat that's in there as well. And it's just loaded up every bite. You get a little bit of everything and it is really good. Meatballs, you could start with those too, right? You can, it's a meatball appetizer, comes with a toasted bread. I'll say it serves three, but it's usually a battle between two. It's going for the meatball. Cheers. Wow. Mm. The meatballs, again, made in house, and you could tell the flavor on the inside is something that they've curated over decades. Everything in there has a little bit of Italian punch to it, and they have the sauce on top, cheese finished on there as well. It comes two to an order on the appetizers, so I recommend getting enough for the whole table. Now this is the Chicago styles right here. You got them in the pan. Talk to me about each one of these. Sure, so this one is real signature classic at Star Pizza. It's our Joe's special sauteed spinach and garlic with our own pizza sauce and blend of mozzarella and provolone cheese. This one is on our Chicago style whole wheat deep dish. What about this one here? This is the Chicago style white crust deep dish. Chicken Alfredo has a little bit of gorgonzola, grilled chicken, basil, and sauteed onions. This pizza here in the front, you have whole garlic cloves on there. It looks fantastic, New York style. What's going on with this one? So it's salsa verde pizza, New York style white crust, easily foldable, whole cloves of pan seared garlic, poblano peppers, lots of cheese. All right, you've been around 1976. Yeah. I mean, you're a staple here in the Houston community, multiple locations across the city, right? Yeah, for sure. 
I'm gonna grab a slice of this Chicago. Oh wow, it's still nice and hot. Here we go. Cheers to you. You guys, Star Pizza out here. You have to come check it out when you're in the city. Great pizza, New York style, Chicago style, something for the whole family. Thank you so much for having us. Man. Absolutely, thanks. Mm. Oh wow. That's pork and knife Never pizza. disappoint. Yeah. <laughs> And next on the show, get ready for a donut shop serving up a 10-pound cinnamon roll. <laughs> this is incredible. So don't go anywhere. The Houston edition of Texas Eats will be right back. back to the Houston edition of Texas Eats. Now, we're in League City to check out a locally owned donut shop making huge donuts, apple fritters, and a 10 pound cinnamon roll. Let's go inside Bonnie's Donuts. Joining me now is the co-owner out here at the donut shop, Davi Lee. Goes by Lee though, how's it going, man? It's going great. Right in front of us, we have, man, the hits that you got out here, a 10 pound cinnamon roll. That's just silly, that's, <laughs> that's the biggest cinnamon roll. That's Mount Cinnamon Roll, right? I wanna climb it. And then you have all these different donuts right here, plus you have cream filled donuts, a little bit of jelly on top, and fruit filled donuts that are just insane. But how did all of this get started? This donut shop's been established for uh, 30 years. Um, it was originally owned by my uncle. Uh, he had all the original recipes for um, the regular glaze, regular chocolate, and the kolaches. And uh, seven years ago, when me and my wife took over, we're like, man, we're, we're, our location wasn't the greatest. We're so deep inside, so we're like, we gotta be different. We gotta get people to check us out, right? Originally, it started with the letter donuts. That's what really blew up. And then we just said, hey, let's just keep going and going. And then every week, we'll have a rotating item just to make it really unique. You've hit the nail on the head here. Unique is definitely the name of the game out here at the donut shop. Ten pound cinnamon roll. What was the idea behind this? One of our customers walked in and he said, it's my daughter's birthday and she wants the biggest cinnamon roll that you can do. And we're like, well, we just have a small oven. Then we, we told him we can't guarantee that it's gonna come out you know, bigger than the five pound. And we just kept doing it, doing it, and then it came out, we weighed it, it was 10 pounds. This 10 pound cinnamon roll is loaded up all the seasoning on the inside, sugar as well. Just look how much actually goes into making this thing. Now this gets rolled up, you can see all the dough, I mean, all done by hand. And then it gets cut into these big chunks. Now these alone would blow you away, but they're not done, right? Because they put them in a pan and then they start rattling around more of the dough with all that seasoning until they fill up the entire pan. That's when you get the 10 pound cinnamon roll. Look at this thing. Into the oven, cooks off, finishes in there, and it just gets insane. Once they pull it out, you know it's not done. It actually gets covered with some butter on top to make sure it stays moist, and then it gets icing dumped all on top of that. That's what you're seeing right here. This is all that fresh icing. Oh my goodness. All made in house, made to order when you want. Now you gotta call ahead to get these 10 pound cinnamon rolls. Oh my gosh. So like we can thank the gentleman that came in and ordered it for the 10 pound cinnamon roll. We got two knives over here. Grab your knife. Okay. Yo. Oh. <laughs> this is incredible. Oh my gosh. All right, Lee, grab a, grab a little yeah, piece I there. As I say little, as I hold this huge cinnamon roll. That's a Texas bite right there. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the 10 pound cinnamon roll. That's really good. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> this 10 pound cinnamon roll is over the top. I mean, it is exactly that. It's a massive cinnamon roll. I got to try the center of it, which has all that butter, brown sugar, all the seasonings, everything is just on point. All that icing on there as well. I had to go all in. <laughs> I had to take a big bite of that thing. I had to know what it tastes like. Yeah, 
have cream, you also have some jelly on top. So talk to me about this donut, what makes it special? Okay, it's like, um, it's a pretty cool donut because it's like a cheesecake donut. So it's, a, it's not Bavarian cream, but it's a cheesecake. But we put a little hint of Bavarian just to give it that very, very good flavor. We have strawberry, we have lemon, and we also have a regular. Which one's your favorite out of these three? Um, I would have to say the, the strawberry. Strawberry's always right. been my favorite. Grab a strawberry. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a lemon. Cheers to you. Cheers. Oh my god. How is it? <laughs> Give me some love. <laughs> I've been waiting for that bite, y'all. Mm. The cream filled donuts with the jelly on top, powdered sugar are so good. It has that yeast donut on there, so it's super fluffy, has a really nice texture on the inside. The cream has a little bit of tartness to it, but it's balanced out with that jelly that's on there as well. You can get them with or without jelly, strawberry or lemon. I mean, you can't go wrong with the lemon. It's one of my favorite flavors, but there's strawberry rocks as well. And these ones are special because, I mean, just look at the gigantic pieces of fruit on the inside. These are called the fresh fruit donuts. They're seasonal, and the strawberry one's the biggest hit. Um, we try to get it year round just because strawberries offered in Texas uh, all year round. And, and during the peak season, we'll go to a Frostburg farm and we'll get our, our two-year-old son and he'll, he'll do all the labor. <laughs> <laughs> We put that two-year-old to work. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Bo, you know what you're going to do. I'm taking you to a strawberry farm. When you're in the city, come on out here. Look what's going on. I mean, you got cereal donuts. You have some little bars in the middle. Donut holes, super popular, right? Give me some more love. <laughs> so good. Y'all, Bonnie's Donuts. I mean, don't trip. Come out here. Enjoy yourself. This is the donut you need to try. Oh, my gosh. Texas Eats will be right back. Thank you so much for watching the Houston edition of Texas Eats. And to get more information and a map on all the restaurants that we visited on this week's show, just go to our website, clickthehouston.com slash Texas Eats. Don't forget to follow us on social media at Texas Eats TV on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to join us at our new time every Sunday at 11.30 p.m. right here on KPRC2, because this is how Texas Eats. You have cream, you also have some jelly on top. So talk to me about this donut, what makes it special? Okay, it's like, um. It's a pretty cool donut because it's like a cheesecake donut. So it's a, it's not Bavarian cream, but it's a cheesecake. But we put a little hint of Bavarian just to give it that very, very good flavor. We have strawberry, we have lemon, 